What's up everyone? Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday. I'm sorry for not ever having this video out. It's been a long time and this is the long-awaited tutorial everyone's been waiting for. Um, please excuse my throat or my... I don't know if I sound different, but it's probably because I was sick and I am kind of getting over it. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys for being here today. Um, I'm going to start off by showing you what we're making. We're going to make this audio visualizer as requested by um, Jay Hen Lin, something like that. And then a few other people were requesting that I release the tutorial because I had said that I was going to release it the last Tuesday probably. But this is what we were making here. So I'll let you see this first and then we can begin. Start making this uh, audio visualizer. And there it is, a uh, quick preview of it. Um, basically what I'm using here is a, a warp modifier, a mirror modifier. The mirror modifier fire is just used to, I just use that to mod mirror all of the, these little extrusions or pr protrusions coming out of this circle. Um, and yeah, that's all I did. So let's go ahead and start making it. Let's go to, I'm gonna go to the fifth layer because I have a bunch of other layers using half stuff on them. Um, okay, so let's go into front view. Press five on the keyboard to go into orthographic view. First of all, let me try to turn on screencast keys for you. Don't even have it added as a plugin. Okay, so I added the plugin for screencast keys. Now I'm going to show you how to make this audio visualizer as we were going to do. Okay, so first of all, let's press Shift A on the keyboard. As you can see right there, I pressed Shift A. Let's go to Mesh, select Circle, and let's go into Front View first. And let's add in a camera before we do anything else. Let's press Control Zero to switch to this camera. And now from the top view, or we could we can even do shift F and then you know fly it backwards, but I think it's better to go into top view and drag this arrow, this green arrow, which um, drags this camera on the y-axis. Or you can just press G Y and then just drag it on the y-axis. So now it's moved away from this circle. So now we can rotate the circle. So press R, X, and then 90. So you can rotate it 90 degrees. And now, uh, I think that's a good size. We might, we'll just leave it this scale. Let's go into, let's press tab to go into edit mode. And let's extrude this. We could have also filled this in in the properties panel over here, or the window, the, yeah, the panel thing. But I'm just going to do it like this. I just extruded that, and now I'll press W, click Merge, and then click At Center. And now we just merged all the vertices. So let's select the circle. Let's press W on the keyboard, and then press Subdivide. And let's do it twice. Let's make a number of cuts. Two. Just press T on the keyboard, and it opens up this toolbar. And I pressed, um, I clicked on this little arrow right here where it says Number of Cuts and I added two cuts. Okay, so that should be good now. Um, let's go ahead and see. We'll need to add a warp modifier to this circle. So we'll, um, we'll have two different shapes that are going to be controlling this audio visualizer, just like over here uh, with this one. I have the circle empty. It's controlling that, the main extrusion. And then this controls the starting position, basically, of where it comes from. So if I were to move it forward, it would move a different part of it. So let's go back to the other one. Okay. Let's add a, another empty. Let's add in a cube empty. And you can add whichever one you want. It doesn't have to be a cube. 
It doesn't have to be a circle, it doesn't have to be any of these. I'm just gonna add in to distinguish between the two points. I'm gonna add in a circle and a cube. So I'll add in this circle is gonna be for the main point where it comes off, and then this is going to be for the first um the from object. Okay, so let's place in these two boxes, let's place the um the names of these, so we have to find the names. This is empty two. Let's just name this from object. And then let's name this circle or this sphere, I mean. Let's name this uh, two object, just so that we know which object is which. So let's uncheck that. Um, type in from object and it comes up already when I just type in from and then in two box let's type in two and now it has two object so select that and now you can see it's really working here you can really tell um, but I think we're going to change change up these settings so it doesn't look probably not gonna look like this um, so that's that. We added the two objects for the start and finish position, or to and from, or from and to. Um, so let's change the strength to two. That's what I added on, on mine. Um, let's also change the radius to 0.5. Turn, tone it down a bit, because that's a lot. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of overlapping in the vertices. That's what, that's why the, you see that weird whatever that is, shocking looking flashing thing on the screen right there. So what I did was I moved the two objects back or forward a bit so that it doesn't overlap like that. And make sure to hit smooth on the object as well. Click smooth and that will help a lot. And now whenever this moves, it will animate that object right there. We might want to Let's see. I'm gonna try to change. No, not that. Okay. I think it's fine. Starting position. Yeah. Um, okay, so now what we want to do is we'll add in, click on preserve volume. I'll just preserve the volume of this object. And now let's uh, add in a mirror modifier to mirror this animation and let's press X and Y and let's move this back so that it's behind the object now it's behind the object behind the sphere and let's see we might want to scale this down let's scale down the sphere because for some reason it's not acting right okay there we go. So now we have our sphere in place and everything's working. Let's just move this until it fixes that like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So now we have that working. Let's go ahead and animate this. So select the sphere, press I on the keyboard, location rotation. And let's select the x-axis, because the x-axis, it moves to the side like that. And we're going to uh, animate the z location to go down for this object right here. Let's go ahead and select x, press key, or select key, select bake sound to f-curves, and then select your music. And you can change the lowest and the highest frequency to, to get a different reaction from the audio visualizer. So let's click bake sound to F curves. And now it's kind of loud. Now you can see it moves, animates to the music, and get a great result. I'm just gonna move it just to see. It. Mm, I think I'll leave it there. And 
I'll animate this now. Let's see. Let's move it over like that. It's pretty much in the same position. Um, but yeah. I think it might have, it might need to start from here. And it also has to have some Z location in it, just that it moves in a different. Let's change this to 55, and then the highest frequency, let's change that to 500. Bake sound F curves. And now. Hmm. Getting kind of a weird result. So we can just move this cube, and it'll fit. And then we can just move this cube as well, animate it on the Z axis. So let's press I on the keyboard, select the location rotation. Let's select this little drop down arrow, select Z location, and then select key, select bake sound to F curves, and then select our music. And let's type in something like 200, maybe it will be the highest. Uh, no, I think I'll change this to 100, and this will be 450. Do something like that. Let's bake sound F curves. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty good result. Um, I don't know what you think about that, but uh, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, everything you need to do, everything you like to do. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for subscribing so much. Thank you so much. A lot of support. And uh, yeah, I hopefully I'll put out more tutorials. Uh, the next tutorial, the other tutorial on how, the, uh, how I made the other Trap Nation style audio visualizer. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what's keeping.